everybody knows I retired from rugby league in early retirement a few months ago. I made that known on Facebook, which is now deactivated happily. But I'll be playing cricket instead, so that will be my replacement for the next 15 or 20 years whilst I still have a playing gauge. So I'll be playing cricket for the next 15 or 20 years. It's my preferred sport. I've always been loyal to cricket. I've never turned my back on cricket. I actually preferred playing cricket as a young kid to rugby league. You may not believe it, but you've got no choice. Well, you do have a choice, but it's coming from my mouth. When I was a kid, the only reason I played rugby league from ages four, yes, four, to 13, 14, was because my mother would urge me. I never wanted to go to training. I never wanted to go off. Sorry. I only wanted to go to the game. I never wanted to go to training. And, but even that, mum would, if mum didn't promise me $5 for every try, every try I scored, I wouldn't have played well. I just I loved getting $5 from mum. Often at the end of every game, I'd have 25 to 30 bucks. And uh, <laughs> the coach probably gave it all. Um, she didn't have that type of money to give me, not even 25 or 30 bucks. Uh, so very often, yeah, I'd have 25 or 30 bucks at the end of every game, even at a young age. So that was my inducement to score tries, or to turn up and play the game properly every weekend, because obviously to score tries, I had to put my team on the right pedestal. I had to raise the platform. I had to be the tough forward and tackle and run at everyone and do all sorts of things. So it wasn't me that wanted to play rugby league as a child at all. Just cricket. So instead of kicking a football around from a young age, I was always bowling a cricket ball. So you'd think that I would have kicked the football or done all that sort of stuff. Nope. Every day without fail after school, I bowled a cricket ball. So, you know, to anybody in the rugby league world who thinks they've got a say, they don't, unless they fancy a car driven into their house. <laughs> and there's not a thing any copper can do about that, especially with people knowing the history of them and how they've tried to make me play rugby league. So yeah, if you're in the if you're in the rugby league circles, it doesn't really matter who you are, you'll have a car through your house. If you think that you're changing me from cricket to rugby league, enjoy the video.